welcome back to the show. Those of you who only read about me know that I'm an ultra-liberal harpy paid by Killary to crap on everything decent in America. <laughs> While those who actually watch the show are probably dismayed by how not true that is. Calm your smug tits, Democrats. I never thought I'd be standing on a stage here asking people to vote for me for president. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> and you know the other thing that America has that Britain lacks? A butt ton of evangelical Christians. Thank God! Yeah, you heard that right! Scalia was, by all accounts, a nice guy with a wicked sense of humor. I attack ideas. I don't attack people. And some very good people have some very bad ideas. He's right. Good people do have bad ideas. But that's no reason to be a dick. So, <laughs> Mitch McConnell, I take it back. You are not a dildo. Your ideas are a dildo. <laughs> I happen to have lots of conservative friends. And this holiday, I made one more. If you haven't heard, Glenn Beck is acting really weird. No, not really weird like before, with his overheated rants on Fox. Hang on, I, haven't I seen this movie before? But weird like reaching out to the lamestream media to apologize for his previous weirdness. Weird like going so far as to agree to talk with the shrill, foul-mouthed host of a liberal bitch fest. Yes, that's you, lady. So in the holiday spirit of peace, love, and reconciliation, Glenn and I put on our Christmas sweaters and got to work on healing the nation. My audience is going to think that I am crazy for sitting down with you. My audience hates your guts. My audience <laughs> hates your guts more. My audience would like to stab you relentlessly in the okay. eye. My audience wants to kill me for normalizing a lunatic like yourself. <laughs> really? Yes. Really. So far, this is going great. We've established our mutual tribal animosity and that I need to wear eye protection. But healing, healing. For my audience who's struggling right now to understand why I'm sitting and talking to you. And blame and it on her, not on me. I'm not struggling with it. I want to talk to you. Right, but I they are. It's her fault, not mine. It's fine. She inflicted me on you, not the other You've way. You've said a lot of crazy bullshit, okay? Okay. All right. For like people in my world, even if all you said for the rest of your life were reasonable things, I feel like you've still earned a permanent side eye from them. Is that okay with you? Not okay, but I believe I, I think it's I think it's rational. So I would turn that back around. Why would you have me on? If you don't want to mock, I what don't is your want right? To so mock. then what is why should you have me because on? Because I think that our future is going to require a broad coalition of nonpartisan decency. Agree. It's not just individual people against Donald Trump, it's all of us against Trumpism. I agree. And so I actually think it's important to reach into places where we wouldn't normally reach. I agree. I said yes to you because I believe, I, I watch you, I believe you actually don't want to do damage. I, as a guy who has done damage, I don't want to do any more damage. I know what I did. I helped divide, I'm willing to take that my message to you is please don't make the mistakes that I made. And I think all of us are doing it. We're doing it on Facebook. We're doing it on Twitter. We tear each other apart and we don't see the human on the other side. Oh, God damn it, Glenn Beck. I'm sorry. GD it, Glenn Beck. Now you've done and disarmed me. And this is exactly what's so confusing if you're suspicious of Glenn Beck. He seems, oh, tartar sauce, to be a deeply sincere and decent person. He was criticized harshly by many of his own fans when he spoke out against Trump. He supports various charities, like one that helps women rescued from ISIS, providing them with counseling through knitting circles led by therapists. He also drew fire from his own side when he took toys and clothing and $2 million of food to undocumented immigrants on the southern border. And tried to teach my audience, they're children. Yes, you can be against illegal immigration, but they're children and they're here and they're humans. Much of Glenn's message has changed, but when I asked if he's hopeful or still a pessimist... I'm not a pessimist, I'm a catastrophist. Have you watched me? Yeah, I yeah. thought you might have changed that part. No, that part remains right intact. Okay. And he had advice for me. I hate to break it to you. Uh-huh. See, I've been watching you. Right. You've adopted a lot of my catastrophe kind of traits. I'm a catastrophist. You are. In the mode of Glenn Beck? Let me ask you this. Sam B is having a Christmas crisis. Do you believe there's a, a chance we fall into a dictatorship under Donald oh, Trump? Oh, God. Do you believe there's a chance we lose our freedom of speech and press under this president? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Glenn Beck is going to make me cry. What the <laughs> fuck is happening? I'm sorry. Somebody has to say it. How does it feel to you that this is your legacy? 
Oh crap, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, think about it. What I was thinking about is that this had honestly been one of the strangest days I've ever had. Maybe we're both suckers, but very cautiously, by fits and starts, Glenn Beck and I were becoming allies? I'm reaching out. No. No. Don't take it away. I was reaching out to you. Do it again. No, I'm not your trained monkey. I'm gonna pull the football away, Glenn. You're Lucy. Glenn Beck, do it. Don't do it, 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 don't do it. Oh my gosh. And it feels so creepy. Does it? Does it? Our skins are touching. How long do we have to do this? A super long time. I think that was good. Okay. You let go first, just for the record. Then, in the spirit of Christmas, I had a gift to celebrate our weird new relationship. It's a strange bedfellows cake. That is great. There's you. There's me. One leg on the floor. Which I think is good. We can run. Then, after shifting to Glenn's Facebook Live set, we did what is traditional in this sort of situation. We ate each other's heads. <laughs> and joyfully welcomed this strange new reality. This is delicious. You're delicious. <laughs> we'll be right back.